Hi, or welcome to my channel, Sister with a Purpose, where I give you uplifting motivational messages and I'll let you know what's going on. Thank you so much for liking this video, supporting this channel. Thank you so much for your subscription, all of my monetary as well as energetic donations. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, let's jump right in. Um, I am being called to if I can angle that a little bit better, um, to a reading for you all. What does your ex, current, or future lover wants to say to you? First, we're going to start with ex, then we're going to move into current, and then the last um, will be future. So, let's jump right in. These could be characteristics of that person or what they actually have to say. All right, now come through then. Um, X says, I'm so sorry. Okay. So for your ex, divine feminine, divine masculine, they want you to know that they're sorry. Thank you, most high, divine relative, divine guides, as well as higher self. Allow me to come on via channel message of truth, love, light, and accuracy. All right, any other messages, divine spirit, or my divine feminine, divine masculine's ex. What do the ex have to say? Oh, somebody wants to, they're going to love you always. Okay. And, um, okay. They want a one night stand and they want you to have their babies. And also, for some of y'all, I'm getting that they're so sorry for a one night stand. Okay. So they're, this person says, I'm so sorry, and then they're so sorry for the one night stand, for those of you all who resonate with that message, and then for the others of you all, they're so, so, they're so sorry, they're so sorry about their um, situation with you. Damn, I couldn't even say that. So this person doesn't know what to say to you, and this is why I'm being um, guided to do this type of reading, because I don't do this at all. Like, if you go back and check any of my videos, I've never done a video where... I give you messages from your ex, your current, and your future lover. No, I haven't. Because your future lover should be your current lover, right? If we're moving in divinity. But I'm being, I'm doing what I'm called to do. So, I mean, I, I don't know who I'm reading for. These are general readings. But I know I'm reading for someone, a multitude of people. Okay, anyways, this person wants you to have their babies. All right, so this is the ex energy let's move forward into the current for those of you all who have someone current if you don't have anyone current then you can disregard this portion of the video and move straight into a future relationship okay so what are the messages from the current lover for the divine feminine and masculine who currently have a lover or someone in their energy field they want you to know they will fight for you all. I will fight for us. Please, no more than two other messages. I've cried for you many times. So you all could have already been through some form of turbulence. Okay, within the relationship, the person that you're currently thinking of or with. Okay, who's currently in your life. Alright, I just wanted one. So this is the last one for the current message and this person says i put you first love sorry i thought you could see that all right the ex wants you to know they're sorry some are sorry for a one night stand some are so sorry and they want to have a one night stand with you and they want you to have their babies if you have not already carried their children for some of you all you could currently have a child with this person and they want more children with you. All right, so let's jump right in for the message for the future. What does this future lover have to say? This is quite interesting. What does the future lover have to say? What is, what is the energy about the future lover for divine feminine, divine masculine collective? Divine spirit, what do you want me to say concerning this future lover? No more than three cards, please, if you, if you will. That's a lot. Please allow me to fall on the table. Damn. That's a lot, y'all. I'm not taking that divine spirit. 
that's too many. We'll be here all night. We be all night. Oh, some of y'all, y'all really gonna be there all night, okay? The future level wants you to know that you are extremely attracted to them. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, Ashe, Ashe. I love when they do this. I ask for three, they give me three. Let me love you, all right? They want you to let them love you. Don't give my love away. If you take your love away from me, I'll go crazy. I'll go insane. So, y'all, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it 1,000 with you, and let's try again. For some of you all, your ex is your future lover. And I'm not even saying that because the let's try again is here. You know what's standing out to me? The cards. The cards. This person that's currently in your life is someone you're communicating with, you're giving your heart space to, okay? But for some of you all, this ex who wants you to have their babies is your future lover because look at the way the cards are. We have two yellows and one red. And then for the future, we have two reds and one yellow. I don't know. To me, it's really sounding like for those that it resonate with, the ex-lover is your future lover. And whoever you're currently talking to is just someone that you are currently talking to. This person puts you first. You put this person first. Let the message resonate for whatever your situation is. They've cried for you many times and they are willing to fight for you. But there's something for some of you all about this ex that y'all have a strong pool, a strong tie with each other. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Please give me some sun sign information for this ex. What is the sun sign information for the ex to my spirit? No more than three cards. Overall energy, X's. Thank you. Damn, that was real. Yeah, you gave me no more than three cards, but that was real general, Divine Spirit. Real general. <laughs> so we have Virgo, Gemini, and then Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So heavy on the Virgo. There could be a Virgo who is sorry. They're working hard, okay? Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. They feel like they messed up their family dynamic strong on the Capricorn because the Knight of Cups plus the Ten of Cups is the Two of Cups, which is Capricorn. So if there is an Earth sign, I'm getting Capricorn, Virgo, and then we have Gemini. So you could be any of those signs or that X lover of yours is. Mm -hmm, child. All right, let's go to the middle. Who is this current energy in Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine's life? Give me some sun sign information, please. No more than three cards, Divine Spirit. Thank you. I fucks with y'all. And y'all fucks with me. I really do be trying to stop cursing. You know, I really want to sound lady like more elegant and poised and posh and dripped up, dripped out. But I, it's so hard. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, the current individual in this life is major. You're closing out or you're undergoing a major transformation or a major cycle with this person. Maybe it wasn't, for some of you all, this came too soon. The ex, it wasn't time. You had to learn from this ex. This ex had to learn from you. Y'all had to go y'all separate ways. Then you had to get into or pursue a energy that you're currently involved with. That is generating major events to happen for you in your life that will for some not all eventually lead you back to the ex individual who still longs for you and you vice versa you know who you are this message will only re resonate with a select few of individuals okay so we have major arcane nothing minor here baby so I don't know, for some of you all, you may want to stick it out with this current person because this current person has cried for you, they'll fight for you, and they'll put you first. And they all major. The chariot, the devil, and the sun. We got Leo, heavy Leo. 
heavy Capricorn and heavy Cancer. So your current energy could be a Cancer, Leo, or Capricorn. Okay? Now, hey, I mean, it could be a Leo. And we know Leos are going to fight for you. Leos are proud. Leos are loving. There could be a Cancer that's emotional. It's crying out for you right now. There could be a Capricorn that's going to work hard and put you first. Look. I don't know about y'all, but for some of for, for some of y'all, y'all may need to stay with that current person. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because look, the future person is, is actually sounding like the ex anyway. Don't give my love away. Don't give away my love. Let me love you. This person did have one night stand out here. This person could really be still in the energy of just passion. And let's try again. I don't know. Ain't no love on over there. Ain't no love. It's money over there. I'm here. It's a whole lot of money at my table, at my section. Take a seat. Who they? Uh, who is that? I forgot her name, but she did a song with Nicki Minaj was on her remix. I might paint my toes white just to make her coop. Look, I'm saying this shit all wrong. Okay, I know I am. Okay, I just, I don't know. What was her name? I keep wanting to call her Susa. That is not Susa. Bia. B I A. That's her name. Bia, Bia. Why you acting like a, like a Bia, Bia? Okay, let me stop playing with y'all. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little sleepy. I'm so sorry. I'm doing these readings a little sleepy. I've done so much today. Okay, guys, so we have the King of Swords here. The future, for some of you all who is, it is a new energy. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay? Strong on the Gemini, because we do have, if it's an ex person, it's a Gemini, okay? The King of Swords is here. And yeah, he flirty. If it's a masculine Gemini, girl, please, okay? Then we have the Knight nine of wands and nine of cups pisces sagittarius oh look at this empress taurus libra so heavy on the libra heavy on the gemini then we have sagittarius pisces so guys i hope this reading gave you some some form of insight and clarity as to um what your lover wants to say to you whether they're ex current or future all right, guys, let's get a Moonology card for them, though. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, child. Time for healing. Oh. Balsamic moon. Is it balsamic like the, the dressing? Okay, look. Let me stop putting on I'm going to get it off this camera. Because... <laughs> Your girl gonna sound crazy. All right, what is the Moonology card that the Divine Collective, Divine Feminine, watching this video needs to hear? Concerning these lovers. Choosing love. Girl, I'm so proud of. Yeah, some of y'all are celebrating. Y'all are real choosy on who you choose, who you're picking. Ooh, we have faith in your dreams at the top. Let me tell you something. New moon. New moon in Scorpio. A new start is coming. Work through your fears. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay. A new start is coming with you guys. You already know this. This is why I was divinely guided to do, give this video to you all. So for some of y'all, you could be going back to an ex. You could be a Scorpio. Okay. A new moon. Wow. That's powerful. Time to let go of a grudge you're holding on. Okay, so for some of you all, if the past does come back and you all decide to um, try to rekindle things, do not hold on to previous grudges. This is going to um, hinder the relationship to move forward. Okay, and this card suggests a rebirth. I cannot make this up. Some of y'all are getting back with an ex. Rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes. All right, have some sexy time. Mm -hmm. 
Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mind and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. If there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way, there's a new start with someone who wants to get underneath the surface. There is a yes coming your way. This is one of the most auspicious cards in the deck. And this is the new moon card. The situation you're asking about is blessed. You are on target to achieve your goals. A new start is on its way. You will soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well. And then the last one says, forget about your past. So I have two groups here. I have a group of individuals who are going back to their past. And then I have a group of individuals who are not, who need to move forward. Like I said, for some of you all, you may not even have anyone in your life currently, but whoever enters into your life in the near future and who will currently be staying, that is the person that you need to be with. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you who to be with. You be with who you want to be with. I'm just giving you insight. Okay, that's it. That's all. All right, divine, feminine, and masculine. I'll catch you in your next one. Until next time, be well. Ashe. Bye.